today. From Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. It's week 18 of the NFL on EA. We'll see Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills taking on Mac Jones and the New England Patriots. Oh, they indeed love their football here in upstate New York as you get a look inside Rocket Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Today, the curtain falls on the regular season, and we've got a good one in store between the New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at the Bills entering play here. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And going back through the tape, I thought they looked pretty good last week. It was a solid win, a comprehensive win. And we are underway in Buffalo. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. For the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. And when you think about great seasons in recent memory, he's definitely putting one together here. There's a good chance he's going to go over 5,000 yards passing for the season. He's just a little bit under that mark coming in. And I tell you, it's pretty rarefied air when you get up there with numbers like this. Meanwhile, Allen's throw here into the hands of Jones. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Allen going to throw, and his throw here is incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver, and it's third and four. And despite injuries like these, Charles, with these guys missing, they've been able to keep that pursuit of perfection alive so far. That just shows the depth that they have on the roster and the guys who are serious about being ready when their number is called. Someone goes down, someone jumps in, and they don't skip a beat. I think this team has a bunch of those guys, and some of them will be called on again this week. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and it'll be fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. And deep to return it is Marcus Jones. A call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Patriots take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Leading them out, the second-year man from Alabama, Mac Jones. And he's certainly putting together an MVP-type season, leading the league in both passing yards and touchdown passes. There have not been too many defenses have been able to stop him or even slow him down. So he's got his sight set on another big game right here. Jones in the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 23. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing Jones. That swung out wide to Harris. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Jones. 
his throw incomplete. So, CD, here we are. You look at how well this offense has played all year, 16-0. Now, in most years, they'd be at home right now enjoying time off for their perfect season, getting ready for the postseason. But this is the decade of the 2020s, so that means 17 games are what's needed to get through a perfect season. Would a win here make them an all-timer for you? It would. It absolutely would. And I realize we're not comparing apples to apples because of the length of regular seasons. But if you think back to the 1972 Dolphins, they were 14-0 in the regular season. Three wins made them a Super Bowl champion, so they were 17-0 total. Imagine getting through 17 now and then continuing on and winning the Super Bowl. They're an all-timer team already for me. Meanwhile, Jones' throw there complete to Myers. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 22 yards there, a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Back to throw. Jones. Touchdown! Nelson Aguilar! His second touchdown on the season. And the Patriots have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that makes the score 7-0. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the And a loose football! And it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Thank goodness for heaters up here. And thank goodness I don't have to carry the football in this game. It's January. It's cold out there. Trying to clutch the football and absorb the hits, not easily done. Yeah, we saw a product of the elements right there. The Patriot offense heading back out as we take a look at the playoff picture in the AFC. Well, we do know, Charles, they will be in the playoffs. They currently sit at pole position number one, but nothing set in stone right now. They still have to earn that top spot. And it makes me reflect back to preseason when you and I do our tours of camps. The prevailing message in each and every one of them was what? Win the division. Win the division. Win the division. You know you're in the playoffs. It means something. It might be, it means a home game. It means a number of other things, but winning the division is paramount. You're right. They won't step off the gas here. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. On second down, this is Harris. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Seven yards there and a first down. Looking to throw. Jones. And caught by Henry. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. He's fresh off that three-touchdown performance last week that got him AFC Offensive Player of the Week, so you know that he was already on their radar. Now he's maybe even a bigger plane on their radar. <laughs> bigger plane. I mean, he is the big dot on that screen that they're looking at and saying, how in the heck do we stop him? They're going to try a bunch of different things, different people covering him, but right now he's locked in and is in sync with his quarterback. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. Now here's another carry for Harris. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. 
Last week, of course, the great performance, over 200 yards. He still wants to be fed. And they should. That's exactly what you should do. I have not yet met a running back that's run for over 200 yards that says the very next week, hey, let's back things yeah, up. Yeah, I don't need it as much. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Patriots have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And this will be a gain of five as he gives it to the 30. These two teams, you may recall, they didn't play each other till late in the year. Their first meeting was not too long ago, back in week 13. And it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Throwing is Allen on third. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing now is Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Now the punter, Sam Martin, called on to kick it away here. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Jones on the return. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Running back Damian Harris and the Patriots ready to go on their next drive here. They topped the 200-yard mark a week ago. You know they're going to have a lot of eyes and hopefully for them bodies on him here in this one. You've got to expect defensively, forget eight men in the box. Nine, ten, eleven. Hey, listen, they're, they're trying to sneak you and me in there to try and slow him down. But I bet his offensive line mates are going to accept that challenge. They really like blocking for a guy who can turn up that kind of yardage. Here's Jones on first and 10. Now thrown to Parker, complete on the slant. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Nothing flashy there, the slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. 
Nice job there on the tackle. Keep him to the short gain. And, of course, he got some good news this week. He was named AFC Defensive Player of the Week from last week's effort. And part of the reason he got that award, because of plays like that. Not every play is spectacular. Not every play is for a loss. Make the plays that are in front of you. Keep it to short gains, and you pile up statistics. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Jones now on third down. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Brandon, watching their tape from last week, I saw plenty of plays like we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time out, too. Complete. It's Henry. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line just shy of the 20 not often to fourth down conversions result in 23 yards but that's the case here first down both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief and both knew exactly where the first down markers were you know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front but somehow some way those guys found a way to pick it up so after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. Harris running straight ahead. 65 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Back to throw. Jones. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. They hand this off to Harris, and he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape. And he is into the end zone, and the touchdown still in the first quarter and look out I mean they are on pace for over 80 points in this game I don't know that they'll get there CD but this has been impressive to watch so far that certainly would be history in the making wouldn't it partner I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens although like you I have my doubts but they are firmly in control of this game full connects on the extra point and that makes the score 21 to zip a pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. To the air, Allen. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. And that's their first sack of this game. But how about last week? Six sacks. Great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. 
And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. 39 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. New England's offense set to go. But Charles, they're really stringing these possessions and scores together early. We're still in the first quarter, but if they can score again here, a look out. Yeah, and as you taught me when we're broadcasting games, one word we're supposed to avoid, and that's blowout. But that's exactly what's going on here. Down three possessions just the first quarter. That goes beyond any worst-case scenario we might have thought coming into this game. And another touchdown here, that should eliminate any hopes for any type of a comeback. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now a throw here, hold in. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call through the offensive coordinator. You like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. Well, they're currently the best in the NFL in converting on third down, so it was no surprise there that they picked that one up. And they've done it in many different ways throughout the season, Charles. Picking it up, running it, throwing it, just effective on third downs all year long. Jones throwing on first down. That's complete into the hands of Myers. Touchdown, Patriots! Jacoby Myers, 28 yards. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie, if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. So this not what we expected. 28-0 here in the first as another kickoff is away. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here, and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. They'll run on first down with Singletary, taken down at the 42. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Yeah, this all oh, incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. Allen from the gun on third down. Escaping the pressure right. Allen hit. He lost the football. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And they will get to this one and down it at the 13-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. Well, everything right now that they touch on this side of the football, it seems to turn to gold. They've scored on three straight possessions. That lead continues to grow. And I mean, if they can get points here, Charles, might almost be an insurmountable comeback for the other side. I think you make a great case for that. So I'm going to flip it over to the other side. Could they make the big comeback? Certainly. Am I expecting it? 
not at all. I think if we don't see a drastic change in how they're playing, this blowout's going to get bigger and bigger before the final gun. 120 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So roughing the passer penalty, never one that you like to see. Not at all, and especially when you're in that final push of the season. You can't afford to get your quarterback hurt before the playoffs roll around. And we know they'll be here before you know it. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. With that last effort, he topples the 5,000-yard mark for his career. And that doesn't place you among the absolute greats that have ever played the game, but it's a significant achievement and a very, very solid career. On second and one, Jones. Very quick throw. He's got Myers. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 23. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Off the play fake, Jones. He'll dump this down to Stevenson. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the route is on here in this first half. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first. Looking to throw. Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Here's second and a yard. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. He'll buy some time right, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. 
to fourth. That's three sacks now, and that's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team, they lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And no return here. This one's going inside the 15 to the 12-yard line. So it's all down to this week 18 on the NFL schedule. And that means that once we sort things out, we'll all be set for our second ever Super Wild Card Weekend, which I think everyone agrees was a runaway success last year. We've got two games coming up on Saturday, three more on Sunday, and then we'll put a bow on it Monday night. On second and nine, Jones. That's caught left side, Myers with it. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring us to a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Harris. It looks like he's going to be stopped short of the first down by about a yard. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. It'll be a net of 39, 41-yard punt, two on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. From the gun, it's Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to poke them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. The Bills on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and five. To throw, it's Allen. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. At least this time he's getting hit after a positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking the hit. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. He's already put it on the ground once in this first half. There are no gain, just struggling to get going. Yeah, and what he needs right now, a dose of confidence, which means his guys have to chop a hole, a big one for him, give him a chance to run a little bit. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Lawrence Guy, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Operating from the gun, Allen. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Allen now looks to throw. Flush to his right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Matt Judon. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. But Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. 
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? The kick by Bass is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. <laughs> So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Marcus Jones, a return man. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. New England trying to get to place on offense. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Back to throw. Jones. Oh, that one sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. A nice pickup of 23 on the third down conversion. And he's over 100 yards now after that last catch. Already, of course, leading the NFL in receiving yardage. So he's done nothing at all to hurt his cause, to stay in that spot. But I've been so impressed with how he's gotten it done. Body control, route running. How about the way he competes for the football at the end of the play? And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. On the give, this is Harris. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 158 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Now Jones on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. So on fourth down, Jones jogs off, and on comes a longtime vet, Nick Folk, for the Pats field goal try. Folk's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work, and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. But Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Well, there have been a ton of sacks. They were just trying to prevent another. So what you're telling me is the conventional way has not really worked for them, huh? Not at all. Not at all. So he tries to grab him here, and they still get caught. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. 
on second and 15 now. Allen, a quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Singletary, they'll go up the middle, and he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. It'll be a gain of seven, but I'd imagine we'll see the punt team here on fourth down. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. Fair catch, single four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So at halftime, it's the Patriots with the advantage. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. It's all down to this. Week 18 of the NFL regular season. Lots to be decided, so let's get right to it. We'll get things started down at Hard Rock Stadium, an AFC East matchup with the Jets visiting Miami. And it is the Jets who have the lead in the second quarter. Former number two pick Zach Wilson with a couple of touchdown passes. Next, we head up to the Windy City. Check on the Bears at home, Soldier Field. And it's the visiting Minnesota Vikings who are out in front. Traquan Smith, a touchdown reception. Finally, we're off to Atlanta. Check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they've got the lead in their matchup with the Tampa Bay Bucks. Drake London, a touchdown reception. Meanwhile, our game has been a boat race. Very one-sided to this point. And for the call of the second half, let's get it back to our commentating team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Harris starts to drive on the ground. They'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Looking to throw. Jones got his man complete over the middle. That's Henry. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. Jones throw here taken in by Parker. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. A gain there of 21 yards. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They run with Harris. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. 169 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Back to throw. Jones. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll run with Harris. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase 
and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Here's Jones on first and ten. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver. Separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. Harris. Five yards, now it's third and five. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. On third down, here's Stevenson. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. A oh, lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. And yeah, the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. They go play action here on first down. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that pay off in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. Need to take advantage of those opportunities, and this is a good one right in front of them. Give them nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Here's Allen to throw it. Over the middle complete. That's Jones. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. A lot of ground left to make up, obviously. A lopsided contest, and we're already in the third quarter. Now, they won't get it all back in one play or one drive. That's cliche, but it's true, Charles. If they can just maybe get plays like that and get a little momentum built, they can get the scoreboard a little closer. And can you add some blinders to the cliche, meaning keep these guys from looking at the scoreboard because that doesn't help them at all right now. Their focus needs to be on finishing every drive with points and playing mistake-free football from here on out. That's complete to Davis. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen. And that will be caught by Jones. He's got a Buffalo touchdown. From 21 yards away. And the Bills are able to claw one back. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. On the return, Marcus Jones from the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Patriot offense now set to come back out on the field. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. 
And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A first down there on a pickup of 25. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over in that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Jones now to throw on third down. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And that will extend their lead even further. So this drive maybe didn't end with the same kind of success they had in the first half, but they do add three to their lead. And defensively, I think they went in there at halftime and made a pact with each other and said, look, we can't let these guys keep driving it right down our throats. Not perfect giving up three, but a much better start than the way they played in the first half. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen looking downfield for Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Allen to throw once more. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on to punt for Buffalo. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. The last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know the kicker can nail it from long distance? From the 40 now on second down, Jones. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And it'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game. But the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. They'll run for it. It's Stevenson. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. We're in the third quarter in upstate New York with a second and 10. Looking to throw, Jones. Open man is Myers. 
And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. And right side, Henry's got it. And he gets this to the 48, but no further. Well short of the line to gain. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And that one hits at the 7, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Now this air mail to the sideline. It's incomplete. And there don't appear to be any flags forthcoming. Maybe a little fortunate there. It's third down. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he's going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, still in the third quarter here. Now, you look at the scoreboard, that deficit probably a little too much to overcome, but completions like that may be something to build on for future weeks. Yeah, it's all about ending things on a strong note here, isn't it? Because my mindset is it's a new ball game from here to the end. Make sure it's a good one and close it out. And he'll get nothing out of that one. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that'll bring up second down. Now, Allen again. Got his man complete over the middle. That's McKenzie. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Allen looks to throw on third and one. On the slant, he's got Davis. And he is going to have the Bills first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen rolling to his right. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Throwing again on second down. Allen, and that is incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Allen going to try and throw on third down. Caught by Jones. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 17-yard line. Defense was thinking run, and they're dealt a pass of just under 20 yards. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Now Allen. Now they go screen. It's complete. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Singletary will get down close to the goal line, but not in as he'll be marked down at the one. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Play action. Allen. 
And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Bills get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is down to 24. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they just continue to roll right along, really. This has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four. And this will be a gain of five and gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. He's brought down at the 34. Four. And I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy. Back in training camp. Here's a sneak with Jones. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll be first down, New England. And when all you want to do is keep your drive going, quarterback sneaks a great call, isn't it? Pick it up, get a new set of downs. And on third down, you know, usually you think fourth down quarterback sneak. There, though, it worked on third. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Harris going to get it again on second down. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Harris running straight ahead. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive linemen, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try to make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. Tackle made there by Matt Milano. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10.
Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Myers. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. On second and seven, Jones. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now a handoff, Stevenson. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson, his 11th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Patriots look poised to reach 17-0 as they add on to their lead. Full connects on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Allen. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. He was looking for Devin Singletary there, and that'll make it third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Here's Allen. And that is incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Uh, another incomplete pass that we just saw. And they're under 200 yards passing for the game. So they've done their job. on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. This ball complete to the tight end, Sweeney. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Escaping. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Christian Barmore in there to record another sack, and that is now six on the afternoon for this defensive unit. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this, and you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach have plenty to say about this game. Finding Knox there, complete. And he's going to come up a few yards short, brought down at the 45. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. One final try here for Allen. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And the Pats are going to take possession of the football. 
The utter domination here just continues. This defense, I don't know what more we can say all around about their performance. Well, it certainly feels in this game like maybe they're facing a Canadian defense. 12 guys on the <laughs> field. It feels like there's an extra on every snap because they have really struggled to make headway through the air. Throwing Jones. He finds his man complete. That's Myers. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take look like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Gregory Russo able to bring him down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Clock counting down toward 40 seconds as they take the knee. And the defense, they'll spread the field, a dime package here on third and 12. And they take a knee. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for the Pats, they finish off a perfect regular season, 17-0. And now they'll have the week off as they get set to go after a Super Bowl title. Meanwhile, for Buffalo, the loss means they'll finish up the regular season at 10-7. And, and it's going to be finger-crossing time as we await the final shakedown of this year's playoff picture. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside.